In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called rationalizing a denominator using conjugates, square root, and numerator. And for this example, to rationalize the denominator, we'll need to remove both of these square roots in the denominator. And to do so, we'll use conjugates, where conjugates such as a minus b and a plus b give us the first term squared minus the second term squared. Using this idea, we would like to multiply this bottom, the square root of 11 minus the square root of 5, by its conjugate, which is the square root of 11 plus the square root of 5. And to do this multiplication, I would also need to multiply the numerator by that same square root of 11 plus the square root of 5. So in effect, we're multiplying by 1, since these numerators and denominators are the same. And since I have conjugates in the denominator, I can use this form to say that I will end up with the first term squared. So this would be the square root of 11 squared minus the second term squared. So the square root of 5 squared. And since we have the square root squared in the next step, I'll simplify, and that will remove the radicals from the denominator. But first, in this numerator, to distribute out here, or FOIL, we would need to multiply the square root of 11 times the square root of 11, which is the square root of 121, or just 11. And then I would need to multiply by that last term, so the square root of 11 times the square root of 5, they're both positive. We keep the square root, multiplying 11 and 5, we have 55. Then moving to the square root of 5, doing that multiplication, again, the square root of 5 times the square root of 11 is the square root of 55. And then the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 25, or just 5. And from here, we can begin to simplify. In the numerator, we have these numerical parts that are like terms. We can combine like terms. 11 plus 5 is 16. And then we have the same square root of 55. We have one of them plus another, so plus two square roots of 55. In the denominator, squaring the square root of 11 gives me just 11, minus squaring the square root of 5 gives me just 5, and then simplifying that denominator, 11 minus 5 would just be 6. Lastly, I should check to see if anything will cancel. And since both terms in the numerator and the denominator are all divisible by 2, I know that some canceling is possible. But to show that, it's helpful when I have multiple terms to factor out what I will ultimately be canceling. So in the numerator, I can factor out a 2, and I'm left with an 8 from the 16. And factoring out a 2, I would just have the square root of 55. And from here, I can see that that 6 in the denominator and 2 in the numerator will cancel, leaving me with 3 in the denominator. So rewriting this one last time, we have the 8 plus the square root of 55 in the numerator, and just a 3 in the denominator. This is our simplest form.